welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is John. Here with me today is Susan and Ronald. Ronald, Susie. I, I prefer calling her Sue. And I prefer calling him Ronaldo or Babyface. They came from from far and far wide. Wide, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All yeah. across the country. Yeah, I really want to thank you guys for making it today. And it's just gonna be something fun, casual, nothing serious. Yeah, because um you can agree with me that there have been a lot of activities since the since the ban was lifted on um, movements or since the lockdown lockdown was over. There have been a lot of enjoyment, crowded places, so much activities happening and um, today's topic is basically gonna be um about live during the lockdown. We're just briefly going to assess how people coped during the lockdown. We just want to know, um, we just want to consider the mental, the social effects, and um, other effects. But let's start with the social effect. Uh, yeah, you know why I said other effect. But let's start with the social effect. Um, I'll start with the so ladies first. Yeah. So, um, it's been, yeah, you agree with me, it's been crazy being at home for over a year and um, just depending on governments and sometimes going to work with restrictions and all that how do you think it has affected people youth especially you know socially like how people gone about it? pubs have been closed clubs what do you think what do you think has it been a positive or negative effect what do you think about it? Mm, well for me it's caused a bit of anxiety actually because i'm so used to I was so used to like having a lot of people around, you know, and I was actually living in my school, which is quite very far. It took like an hour to get into town. But then um, one day where they had lifted like the ban for like a certain days, I know they kept doing the whole on and off banning, so which, which so really pisses so Yeah, two weeks on, two weeks off, that doesn't make sense and um so i was going to work early in the morning and this tram was full packed i got so anxious that i needed air and i needed my own space literally like ha having a lot of people around me made me feel so scared internally and i just couldn't handle it and then when um when you would go into town and then you i saw like a huge group amount of people i don't know how you guys like you mean during the lockdown you saw that no no when they had the oh, whole entire lifting okay, and then okay, closed okay, again okay, and then okay, lifted okay. and then they okay the intervals yeah yeah because yeah. we were doing that at intervals i yeah. felt like oh my gosh all these people have covid and they do not have their mask on I was like, I'm gonna double mask my mask. You might get infected. <laughs> yeah, there's this feeling when you're in a crowded place. There's this feeling that everyone around you has COVID. Everyone. There's just you just feeling. just like ah. yeah. So I think that and is. You be careful about who you touch, who you don't yeah. touch, and all those. How did those you feel? Things. Like, how was your? For me, during the lockdown, like it was mentally exhausting. To be honest, like I was. No, no, no. Before you go, before you start telling me how mentally exhausting it was. <laughs> Yeah, we're talking about the social effect, the social life. Yeah. Okay, the social life. Yeah, yeah it's, social it's, life. It's kind of like limited me socially, mm -hmm. really. Because yeah, you're on dating sites. How do you cope? Um, for me personally, <laughs> but for <laughs> most people, you yeah. have to actually go. You have to actually start making friends virtually, like on dating sites, calling more friends, family, and all that. You know, there was a rapid increase in the use of dating sites, and surprisingly, girls were even responding more on dating sites. Out during of, the lockdown, during the lockdown, out of bottom, you know. What about are, are you are you are you a Christian? Do you go to church? Don't you organize online service to meet girls online in your church service? Yes, you know, Christian mingle. You know how the church girls can be you now. They can be so religious. <laughs> no, no, no. Come on. Even religious, religious girls want guys, right? So what's guy saying? It is true. That's why you find them apparently. I'm sure you you church. didn't go to church. Just tell us you didn't go to church. Um, <laughs> I didn't go to church I for sure. I didn't go to church, but I was invited to go to church, and I did see some lovely people there. Are, are you on dating sites? I was that I, I like it was like like Dara. She doesn't want you to know. <laughs> but anyway, no, for my so it, like no, actually, you haven't spoken a single word about how your social life was affected. 
How has it affected you? I was just. Are you, are you asking me? I'm the one supposed to be asking you guys here. Uh -uh. This is my, this is my... You can't be the only two people answering. Okay, guys. My social life was was really, really hectic. Like, it was grounded. It was... My social life was... I don't know how to describe it, but I was... I was almost running mad. But then, I don't want to go too much in, into the, my, the mental, my mental state, but... I am this outgoing person, this um, very social person. I love to meet people. I love to mingle. You know, I love to, you know, discuss with strangers. You know, stuff like that. But I was confined to the virtual stuff. You know, Zoom. On, online service, Zoom, whatever. Bunch of meetings. You know, and then I was also forced to. Someone introduced me to just one dating site. I don't know. What's the name? I Bumble. think Bumble or so. Yeah, and, uh, so once in a while I go on Bumble and I, I meet crazy girls there that talk. <laughs> they, they tell me crazy things. So these are those crazy things they tell me kept me going. Yeah, you just meet some girls and entertainment. Just talk. That was your yeah. social life. Yeah, that was social life. But, but seriously, I was always looking forward to the lockdown being over because. I was, it was not me, you know, when you bring out the fish from the water and you put the fish on land, it doesn't survive. I was mm -hmm. not surviving it, like, I just wanted to rock, so I wanted to dance, I wanted to, you know. Oh my god, that, you just say dancing? I miss, I missed, and still going miss. To the club. Going to the club, going to the, club. Club. Going to the house Every party. Night. Uh, oh my god, I got so, so sick, I'm so sick and tired. Of just blasting my own music and dancing, and dancing in my house like nah that's boring i mean it's fun but it's also boring it's just like ah come I on understand you. nobody's going to see my moves except these four walls yeah just that's imagine just it. imagine you're winding your waist in front of the mirror and no one is looking at your waist it doesn't matter i am learning new moves really? people have to see my move. Let me pass it. <laughs> Come on. Bring it back. Well, what, what I love the most about the lockdown, to be honest, is the fact that maybe I went to work in between the lockdown. You know, maybe oh, really? one day in a week. Oh, yeah, I did it. At well. times, I'm, I enter the bus, I'm the, the only one in the bus, and the road is so free. I like, like that. Like, I really love the freedom on the road. I'm like, Personally, I wanted the lockdown to actually continue because science. of the free road, you know. I actually like that. I yeah, I got into that state where I was Very just nice. like, oh my god, this is beautiful. But then, I, for some reason, I always ended up to work late. Even <laughs> with the free road, <laughs> I was always late. But you know, I enjoyed the like the silence and just not having a bunch of people shouting and weird people smelling on the bus just like that's a no-no and oh random people just randomly opening up bus bus windows when they have on jackets and the bus stopping at every how many meters how many meters i hated that every and time. i'm running late why are you stopping at every bus stop my friend like you gotta understand I was quite grateful for that uh, one. Though. And then the the capacity of the bus was oh, actually yeah. limited. Limited, mm. yeah. yeah. But it was almost so, empty almost all throughout the lockdown, though. Yeah. Actually, at, at the full, at the when it was like at the level five before the lockdown. So talk me about the talk me about the mental effect of um, the lockdown. Yeah, because you can be so frustrated talking to people online, meeting people online. You know they're not responding just as you like you know and you try another person the person's not responding all the people coming to you as a lady are not the people you want you know you're just like what the hell like how do you do you get do you think it makes you it makes you um hot tempered or short tempered to be honest i don't like online anything i prefer talking to people in person and that's something that i actually lacked and I'm terrible at speaking with people, like people I like, and but like I, I like talking to strangers or people I don't like. I'm very good at talking to people that I don't like. I'm talking to strangers because then I can give you my honest opinion, my mind, and then I get to pick your brain about the subjects that you're talking about. 
I found that I find that very interesting but all of that was kind of cut short with the whole entire online everything and limitations to meeting people and then you get people asking you oh why are you not dating my friend why are you not dating? the outside world is not open i can't date, date. date. like you said it's like taking a fish out of water like i'm dying out here with the social um online man. whatever what if you can happening. do a distant relationship i think you can still date you can still do a virtual a virtual dating. dating yeah obviously because you have met the person that doesn't work if you haven't met the person at all and then it's like we're belfast and then you're in dublin what it doesn't work and then you're trying to like communicate i don't know what although i think that the married couples or the guys that were still in a relationship during the lockdown they really had fun during the lockdown you know that yeah. was a bad sex time like not a strike shot yeah i heard that okay <laughs> looks like obviously it was a time to bond like it was a time to bond so no, if you no distraction no excuse of if i'm going if, to work if you who are between or you living with your wife your partner or whatever in the same right. house the lockdown was just the best for you uh, you just no, have... i would like to disagree I, I agree on that part but then also disagree because they actually said that the um, rate of divorce you guys are already talking about the sexual effects yeah it doesn't matter <laughs> we've, so, doesn't we've moved matter. already we've moved on already You're still but don't like, worry we can go get back with the Ooh, get with the program but no they said that the the numbers of uh domestic abuse actually raised way way high yeah during that lockdown a yeah. lot of people i don't know mostly women they tend to say mostly women but also men do get domestically abused yeah verbal so, abuse yeah so verbal well. abuse all these types of abuse were actually happening to people in these types of in these relationships yes there were some relationships where they That's they're perfect. literally flourishing and they're looking after their kids they're taking time out and doing this and that xyz perfect fine and then there are the others who you can't who are trying to literally get some help but they cannot because their partner is either spying on them refusing them locking them beating them up or doing something there was an ad actually on tv and <clears throat> it was like this lady was trying to call the helpline and when it got through the helpline was like oh how can i help you but the moment she started talking her partner in the background came into the room and then he was asking oh who are you talking to and then she had to lie oh i'm talking to somebody like her friend but then the partner came and got the phone and listened and then that was the end he threw the phone down and started being the, like that was like they cut the camera like it went dark but you could just hear like types of like beatings like obviously this was an ad that was just where raising awareness of like abuse that That's is terrible. really happening i know it's crazy wow it's so, crazy so do you think do you think it could be frustrating staying with your partner in the house for over a year do you think it can it should cause it should lead to this thing just said uh, domestic abuse is the, i think if there is love or if if you guys are cool i don't think i think it's a time to bond except you guys were not cool before the lockdown yeah. that's when you can begin to get irritated and get, mm -hmm. get tired of each other yeah you get tired of each other easily you just yeah. get tired of each other that's what i think so um you you, you made mention of some important points i jotted down but let, let's go let's stay still on that now during the uh, I, I there is some statistics online um, concerning the rate at which youths not just youth the rate at which people watch pornography and we said it, we said it, it was together. drastically <laughs> high <laughs> condom sales reduced drastically or increased pornography condom no, sales reduced reduced, it reduced. It reduced yeah. drastically okay. and then the rates at which people visited porn sites increased okay. drastically and then um, that's hilarious the when rates, they're wanking off in the and, and then the rates <laughs> and then the rates at which people order for <laughs> sex toys increased increase. drastically amazon and the rest and the other companies the other um and delivery online, companies online shopping they company. were in business they were just going from house to house delivering stores because people are single and there is no mingling yeah, happening you know there's popular saying saying the idle man is devil's workshop so you know when you're a bit idle doing nothing 
for some people they just think of but do you think checking out a lot these of sex toys we're talking about are, are they are they peculiar to just the ladies or no. guys it's both to I think men both. and we women. don't have female sex toys we, we, I, I, we have, do. I don't know but maybe only rare. you you in your perspective don't have female sex toys but guys out there definitely do have or you haven't even bothered maybe you're not bothered to go start checking because you're not single or you're perfectly fine with the person that you're with okay some guys out there don't know any of those um so i'm pretty sure like different sex toys. are you saying we have ladies yes. we have sex toys yes. I know that there's sex, there's sex toys for guys and for ladies as well. You know? I was reading somewhere, um, if, somewhere in Japan, either China or Japan, they made a full-bodied um, lady mm. sex toy for a guy now. For, 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 for guys, a, yes, yes, a full body like head to toe, like it's a woman. Can I ask a question? Can the sex toy replace the real dick? Um, not, not necessarily. But Sorry, I'm asking a lady. <laughs> Sorry, no, no. I'm the sex toy. No, no, no. Like, but it can help. Sex toy is a normal thing. Yeah, it's common. It is. It's here actually in turning and, into like a real West. thing. Like in Europe and America, Canada, you know, the Western world, it's mm -hmm. common. It's prevalent there. So we just want to know, like, ladies are so much confident with this sex toy like they look at you into your face and tell you i don't need you i don't need a man listen okay i was actually that toy. is so funny because i was reading something there on either instagram or twitter and they were like oh it was a review about a sex toy yeah <laughs> she actually uh so this lady <clears throat> wrote a whole review of this it, it, it's purple i remember it's purple yeah, it's purple. Okay. I can't remember how it's shaped. <laughs> and um, then she wrote her review. She was like, oh, she was quite skeptic about trying it out. But she tried it out because her friend told her to go try it out. And she was like, it's absolutely perfect. So somebody in the comments was like, but how would you want that? Da, da, da. And the ladies in the comments were like, well, if a guy can't, like, a satisfied. guy can't really satisfy because he's not paying attention so to the, the ladies or to the, ex the particular spots yeah to the particular spot <laughs> and this toy is literally doing made to do to that. do that like where you're missing it's literally gaming a lot oh okay so and so, there were a lot so, of so let me get this comments. let me get the point now so the sex toy is actually to complement the guy's efforts it's not like yeah. it's not it's, it's not necessarily replacing the man he's complimenting the man's efforts that depends yeah, you I just, don't know. You just I said still, it. Yeah, but it it depends. Yeah. It also depends on like. But it can never replace the man. No, it can't. It can't. It, it can't it replace can. the, the emotional, the emotional, can. the emotional connection you have with the your emotional connection. Yes, yes, that's it. But, but like where the physical the ones, you can be shit. Yeah. But I would prefer to have you on like cuddling side by like your shit and sex by nice and cuddly. So I would just leave you for cuddling. But I have my toy. So have you ever used the female sex toy? Have you? No, I haven't. Have you seen it? I've seen it, of course. Have you held it? I'm like, <laughs> is it like? Is it like? <laughs> is it like, is like it, who hasn't held it? Is it like 2021? Is, hey! like, is it like normal ass or two? It's like a model shaped like female, you know, uh, like that is naked. You but, know, but, 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 if you go to all these sexual sex toys everywhere, Dublin, sex shops, every, sex shops but, wherever, you see different types of it there. But my question before we even got to this <laughs> level, my question was that it was more prevalence among the females during yes. the lockdown they were yes. just ordering for Wait, actually have you ever I agree seen a yeah sex toy? I agree uh, you just told me just describe no it. have you ever I've seen, seen online I've seen online oh just online, online. Not, physically. Not, not physically no just oh, online. Yeah, you're a good boy sorry no it's not like I'm a good boy I just came to Ireland and in, in Africa in Nigeria oh. sex toy is not something you don't you don't I mean you, don't you can make it up yourself I, I can <laughs> <laughs> like in Nigeria, you cannot just open your mouth and say you have a sex toy. Like, like it's a taboo. It's, it's like know, a taboo. People yeah. just like look at you. In like, Africa, in general, you know, mm. so when I came here, people just say right, like yeah, my I need. Can you get me a sex toy for my bed? My bed is next week. I need it as my bed again. Mm. Seriously, 
this is crazy but that's what that's the effect of the lockdown you know high rate of porn pornography high rate of sex sex drug oh, sex toy right. purchasing and oh did you hear about that was it who was it it was a famous dude either a football player and it had a bunch of part it was it was i think in the uk and he had like a bunch of um a bunch of like strippers or prostitutes up in his room and obviously like he had them like every night or something like that and then they went and told on him like why are you telling so oh, 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 i think i i think i heard that yeah he, 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 they, they exposed him uh -huh. he was he went viral online yeah yeah he had strippers yes yes the footballer yeah but i don't i think that was just someone snitched on him but like somebody wants to get off and you're going to snitch on him yeah I think. and you're getting it paid in the sense. process like please give me the money <laughs> I think it's just, no sense. just one of his friends you know that's crazy yeah and of course a lot of people did a lot of crazy stuff like i don't want to start saying it here because I, I know you guys are not going to confess but people did crazy stuff yeah. the lockdown actually i think it made people it brought out the wild part of people the fact that they've not really explored exactly but also the lockdown actually made people get really very depressed a lot of people started thinking about committing suicide the rate of suicide that became on the on the increase mm -hmm. you know people mm. were sad for no reason you heard of the guy people were worried they were confused they didn't know okay how long would this continue is it for six months for one year forever especially is the world coming to an end is jesus yeah. christ coming tomorrow remember, when, kinds of remember when the tissue war started <laughs> The tissue. the tissue war, toilet tissue. I didn't hear People about started tissue. grabbing for tissue. Oh yes, 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 yeah. yes, 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 I remember. Like, everybody was going everybody to the was video. Why are you running for tissue? And I wonder was tissue paper the most important thing in the show? And then they <laughs> left they left a whole aisle of medication, of vitamins, of literally everything that could help you. And they went for tissue. And there was this um, this hmm. rumor then That's that if you take lots of vitamin C to help stop the COVID. No, no vitamin D. Is it vitamin D or whatever vitamin, vitamin D. Yeah. When you go to the shops, the, the, the D you got you, from, the, from the from the sunlight. Right, yeah. Right. When yeah. you go to the shops, lay down Tesco, you don't see anyone like yeah, everyone. Yeah, finished the finish, like, bottle. Okay. The bottle. Do you know the guy that drowned in Dublin? There was a guy that jumped into the river in Dublin. Out of depression. Was, yeah, something. yeah, depression. Oh, a lot. seriously? A lot, yeah, a lot of stuff happened Where? during the. I've forgotten the particular Oh my god, that's so sad. It was also during the lockdown. I think it was also during the lockdown that the police shot one black guy. Yes, um, yes, in Blanchester. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, a lot of crazy stuff. A lot of crazy stuff. Um, if you, I don't want to go into that story, that's not what we're discussing here, but if you if you check it out, you would realize that maybe depression was one of those those things that led the guy to so go and harass. Because yes. they said he harassed the staff in. in, in yeah, but, but that's not. I don't want to go down there. So we really actually, don't know the full story, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, depression actually caused a lot of stuff. Like, some people just were just getting angry easily on the phone. We're frustrated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just like, yeah. So it was really me, so especially when you look at the news, you'll be like, in the UK, eight hundred people died in twenty-four hours. It's like one thousand people got COVID in twenty-four hours. You know all those. Mm. different kinds of thoughts to just yeah it's, it scatters your mind what, what, you know yeah, yeah. what helps just me get confused. i wasn't watching the news during the covid period i wasn't following the numbers i wasn't going the online to check the figures no 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 that's enough to cause depression i didn't do yes. that yes but you know because i couldn't like my phone it always notifies me oh Every, like yeah, yeah, literally yeah, it notifies me and i'm just looking at the numbers i'm like well well, I, I think I disabled that alert. I disabled it like crazy. Like, I had to disable that alert. At some point, I just went off social media because I just couldn't deal with But another the good thing, anymore. sexually, you're talking about that was, that was just about depression. But sexually, one good thing is that COVID helped people to be self disciplined, to have self control. In what way? S some people, not all. Yeah, because like someone that was used to having okay, yes, sex. I agree. 
regularly. I do I agree. I agree with that one. Yeah, I'm I'm during the agree. lockdown. Yeah. But do I do you, agree. Do you yeah. agree in like experience? So, no, wait, 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 do you wait. also agree in experience? Experience, same experience. No, yeah. I'm asking so, you. Do you no, agree I'm the one saying. I'm the one asking you. Okay, I could explain. I could explain how I agree. explain. Ah, women first. <laughs> Do you <laughs> okay, agree can I just in experience? Learn. Can I just learn? Then I'll answer your question. Ah, okay, go I was on. just trying to say that, like, if you're the one that was used to having sex like three times a week with different girls, no, 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 it, could, it could be with your partner. Okay, okay, it could be with your partner. Then during COVID, let's assume you were not living with your partner during the COVID. Mm -hmm. You had to you you stayed alone for like months without having sex. Then maybe if there is any if they lift. The ban and lockdown, they stop you. And the lockdown, you just quickly mingle again and then. Mm. But at least you're able to control yourself for, for, some time. for some time. So that self control was really, really needed. So do you speak in experience? No, not experience. Like I did a survey, oh, I asked people before this show, you know, and oh, they told you? me, yeah, I did that. I did that. I, I, I asked people and they told me this. That this that's why I decided to like share oh, okay. with you guys. So that's not Do you yeah. speak from experience? For me, not from experience, it's just based on what I know. You know, I'm one guy, you know, especially the guys that love to go to the pub. Maybe they go to pub every Friday night, mm -hmm. meet different girls and oh. sleep with them. So that avenue was knocked out. You understand? Oh. And you cannot really meet anyone. So it's difficult to meet a new girl and, you know, do one of those things. <laughs> so it kind of limited <laughs> but like, in terms of that. Okay, no, I understand that, right? The whole entire it disciplines you. But also, if you look at it the other side, won't that bring out the sex addict in people? I mean, people, if you're being like, it's like, um, that was like people went into it's sex like, toys and no, masturbation and all those. Yeah, I know that, things. but like, where you actually need a proper person, and to like, now that the ban is over won't there be more people having sex like with a person of course, continuously yes, over and yes. over the and rate of condom has increased has increased yeah. A bit. yeah it does yeah so people are having more sex now like they're unleashing everything they're gonna get pregnant now at, fe at the beginning people were actually getting pregnant but then afterwards this, it they, they reduced they're just like okay God, we did this yesterday. Let's not do it now. Well, anyway, we're happy that um, the lockdown is over now, and then you see people in the park, they're just sunbathing, you know, just taking a walk, taking drinks, even having parties in the park and stuff like that. So it's cool, and um, we hope that we're not going back because um, no. nobody's ready to go back home. We really hope, really. Nobody's because, ready because to go back home. Because it's not fun. Really but we don't know if the club, the clubs are going to be open anytime soon. I heard maybe in like in July. The gyms, the gyms are open. The pubs are open. I don't know. Uh, I, I think I think the pubs are open. But the, the churches are open. The churches are open, oh. but I don't know clubs. I think clubs. the clubs is going to be the, the last thing. thing. Yeah. Oh. yeah, maybe the gym. The club is too congested, yeah. so there will be so much. I wonder how many people they're gonna be allowing them. Maybe you have, maybe you have to book before you come. Book? Are you okay? Maybe you have to book to go to the club and it's book it's to town go walk, into you know. A club. a club. I would rather book and to go social to distance in the club. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. <laughs> so let me round up with this um, Sue and Raymond. So what's your next move now that the lockdown is over? Do you intend going traveling? Going on all day, like um, what do they call it? A vacation? Do you know what they call it? Vacation? Oh my god! Vacation. Do you know what? That day. just reminded me of um, they said that people who are getting into, so I don't know if it is true, but people who are getting into like relationships during COVID, that's like a COVIDcation. Like, COVIDcation. A COVIDcation yeah. along those lines, like the person that you're with. So technically, probability of you guys staying together. It's like eh, 50 50 you might end up like okay or you might actually end up not because now that people are out and about and you're meeting new people you might actually find the person that you really like and then you're looking at this person that you're with like, like sideways nah, like nah you're not the one you know what i was slightly blind i just used you, you know? for covid <laughs> like covid was there you were there i was there that's heartbreaking. You know, and that's just that's, 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 that's really no, unfair. No, but that's uh, that's no. very unfair. But My life is unfair. It is. <laughs> so it is what it is.
All right, so <laughs> we'll call it a day here, and um, we have a lot to say. Like people have different, diverse opinions right, yeah. and effect of this COVID on them and their families. So, but we intend talking about this some other time. And so happy to have you guys here, Raymond, Sue, yeah. And um, I hope when I call you guys next time, you're gonna answer me. So, guys, mm -hmm. we'll see you guys in the next show. Bye bye from me. Susan, take care. <laughs>